I used to walk down the street, seeing this mix of every color that you can see in the rainbow. As Sarj Khana, this is one of the most famous old markets in the city. It used to be filled with people, especially women, because it's known for its famous stores of women's clothing. One time, this street used to be filled with people. Now, most of the stores have been abandoned. The Islamic State has forced people, especially women, not to dress up in any way but in black. I try to be as invisible as I can, so I dress up all in black and I walk down the street hoping that the religious security men, the Hisba, won't see a flinch showing of my hand or my foot, so I won't give them any kind of excuse to stop me. One time, I walked down the street. There was this old woman in front of me with her daughter. She was wearing a big white scarf. They usually force even older women to wear black scarves. Hisba men went ahead and stopped her. They tried to take her in order to punish her publicly. And she had this attitude. She was like, you really think that you are the guards of Sharia law in this land? You think that you know our religion better than us? You think that you have the authority over us on how we're dressed? Well, then you are delusional. I'm 70 years old. You want to punish a 70 years old? And those men that she was talking to, they were teens. They are not even 20 years old yet. Quickly, a scene created where other men join these women and they start to back her up. Their presence frightened the Hisba. Eventually, they left her alone. They had this kind of message with their silence surrounding these women. It somehow brought peace to my heart to see this, that even though they walk down the streets with their self-claimed power and clinging to their weapons, believing that they are really controlling this city, but underneath the surface, Underneath the surface, there is mounting resentment. This city hasn't really surrendered as much to ISIL as everybody would think. Yes, they are silent, but they really boiling from inside. Whatever you may have read about in medieval times, they are practicing that on our people in Mosul. One time, I was walking down in the market, trying to reach to one of my friend's homes. On my way, I was stopped by the Hisba and forcefully asked to join an execution scene. It was very, very terrifying what I saw over there. There were five young men. They brought the men, they were handcuffed. They got them on their knees, on the ground, and they started reading their sentences. For being an apostate, we heard you cursing God. We heard you using your phone. We are accusing you of being a spy. I see one giant man, all in black, covering his face with a gigantic sword in his hand. The crowd was big, and what disturbed me the most is that there are so many children in this crowd, especially young boys, the age of six and seven years old. The day was hot, and those young boys were eating their ice cream. They were eating their ice cream, and they start the executions. I tried to go. I tried to leave the scene entirely. They're like, no, no, just wait. It's going to get more exciting. We have a couple of your sisters here to be punished. What? I was like, oh, no, please don't do that. One of them was not wearing the longer skirt enough to cover her feet. 50 lashes for each one of them. And I just fled the scene along with everybody else until I made it to my friend's home. I was so sick of what I had seen, and I really couldn't sleep just thinking about what I had seen and whether I would ever recover from it or not. We kind of created our own lives within our walls. Everybody has created their own world within their home, completely different from what's outside. People basically are tired. They are literally so tired of the entire situation. And they're basically set up to be killed one way or another. And that scares us.
We just want to be liberated.